We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRx Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve. All right. Pony, did you remind him that the last time he served the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? Baluo? What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Court His Excellency. The Assembly will hear an address by His Excellency Adama Baro, President of the Republic of the Gambia. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome His Excellency Adama Barrow, President of the Republic of the Gambia, and to invite him to address the Assembly. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Your Majesties, Excellencies, Head of State and Government, Heads of Delegation, Ladies and Gentlemen, I bring you warm greetings from the people of the Gambia and wish that we have a successful and fruitful 77 session. It is regrettable that we could not convene a proper general summit over the last two years due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Allow me, therefore, to pay a special tribute to the millions of people who succumbed to the pandemic worldwide. In their memory, we must commit ourselves to better pandemic preparedness and response. Mr. President, my delegation congratulates you on your efficient role as President of the General Assembly. And I assure you of the Gambia's support during 
your tenure. We also felicitate the Secretary General for ably steering the affairs of the UN during what has become one of the most challenging times of the century. Mr. President, the numerous interlocking global challenges requiring coordinated global action make it most pressing for us to rise to the occasion. This makes the team a water state moment, transformative challenges to interlocking challenges quite appropriate. In the thick of all the complexities confronting world leaders, we must underscore the centrality of the United Nations' unique role and potential to make a huge difference in the lives of the people. Durable solutions that match the magnitude and intensity of the never-ending challenges remain the Assembly's greatest challenge. The situation calls for new perceptions, new approaches, and new partnerships, renewed commitments, and increased resource levels not equal to the scale of both current and emerging challenges. To recover as a global family, we must monster the requisite courage and political will and take advantage of the opportunities that go with the global crisis. Mr. President, the current cost of living crisis across the world is a wake-up call for immediate global response to alleviate the suffering and poverty that hold our nations to ransom. The global inflationary trends, food insecurity, and the energy crisis compounded the natural disasters that continue to cause havoc around the world. The need for relief grows by the day, yet global efforts appear to be less and less effective. In this connection, my delegation fully welcomes the establishment of the Secretary General's Global Crisis Response Group and eagerly look forward to concrete action-oriented recommendations and solutions. As one of the hard-hit developing countries, the Gambia stands ready to cooperate with the group to find real solutions for immediate relief. Mr. President, we have come to this summit with gratitude for the partnership and support extended to us from 2016 to date. Mr. Secretary General, we thank you personally and the entire UN body for the continued support of our peace building and reconciliation efforts. The Gambia has come a long way from dictatorship and has transitioned into a true multi-party democracy. Following the 2021 presidential election and the legislative elections this year, the consolidation process is gaining momentum. We will step up reforming and strengthening our national institutions to sustain a robust democracy where human rights and fundamental freedoms underpin our national policies, programs, and development efforts. As we prepare to end the current electoral cycle with the 2023 local government elections, we are proud that the Gambia now have multiple political parties and vibrant civil society organizations with a sharp rise in public participation in national affairs. Amid the socio-economic challenges that we shape our nation, characterized by reduced tourism engagements, inflation, food and energy insecurity, and modest economic growth, we are developing a new national development plan, NDP, 2022 to 2026, to succeed the current NDP. 
with this new plan, we seek to advance the pursuit of our national priorities, including the Sustainable Development Goals and the Agenda 2063 of the African Union. We therefore solicit the support of the UN system, as well as our friends and development partners. Our goal is to recover and grow our economy, transform digitally, and consolidate our democratic gains. Our resolve is to uplift our people from poverty, secure their livelihoods, and create new avenues to transition into a prosperous, peaceful, and stable nation. Because the youth and women form the greater majority of our population, the government will continue to empower them. Like all other genuine nations, we are committed to the global consensus that no country should be left behind in this decade of action. Despite its size and economic status, the Gambia is at the forefront of fighting climate change through ambitious national action plans. And we look forward to participating effectively in COP27 in Egypt and the fifth United Nations Conference on Least Developed Countries, LDCs, in Qatar. Mr. President, accelerating development in Africa hinges on addressing the underlying causes of insecurity and underdevelopment. As a continent, our collective goal is to have a peaceful Africa where the people enjoy the dividends of peace, stability, and prosperity. African governments are committed to silencing the guns on the continent as a strategic objective. For this, for this reason, we ask the United Nations and the international community shoulder their fair share of the burden of the African Union peace endeavors. Our experience with keeping the peace in Africa is marked by isolated efforts in many instances. Africa must be provided with adequate equipment and the, and the means to fully play its peace enforcement role on behalf of the international community. As a long-standing troop and police contributing country, the Gambia will continue to support the Secretary General's action for peacekeeping. Initiative, and we welcome its reinforcement through the action for peacekeeping strategy. We are committed to improving the capacity of our officers through increased pre-deployment training, innovative partnerships, and more greater balanced peacekeeping development approaches. We must, however, review and do more to address the frequency deadly attacks against peacekeepers in mission areas by giving them realistic mandates. As sitting member of the, United, as a sitting member of the African Union Peace and Security Council, the Gambia's commitment to peace and security in Africa and beyond remains unwavering. Mr. President, we have ongoing conflicts on our continent that need urgent international attention. The complexity of the challenges in the Sahel dictates multi-prone approaches and interventions that would ensure sustainable peace and stability. So we must reconsider our assumption on this region and seek forward-looking solutions that empower the citizens. The current security and governance situation in Libya equally deserve a fresh trust from the international community. We call on the contending parties on the ground to give the people a chance to live and coexist in peace. Mr. President, Moroccan sovereignty and territorial rights over its Sahara region should be reconsidered by all. In this regard, the government of the Gambia reaffirms its strong support for Morocco autonomy initiatives. We convincingly serve as a realistic compromise in accordance with UN resolutions. Development in the Horn of Africa also continues to be a source of serious concern. We request the leaders of the region and the international community to explore new options to restore peace in the area. We must equally come together to join, assist the region to combat terrorism through greater cooperation and intelligence sharing. 
humanitarian crisis is enormous and calls for considerable international emergency aid. Mr. President, reverting to other important matters of global concern, we entreat the United, United States to end the long-standing embargo imposed on Cuba. The reason is that global solidarity and friendly cooperation should define relations between member states of the United Nations. In the Middle East, the Israel-Palestinian conflict needs a new impetus for lasting peace. As a people, the Palestinians deserve a state of their own. Hence, we call for a fresh peace initiative that includes the revival of the Arab Peace Initiative. Mr. President, we remain deeply disturbed by the horrors and humanitarian catastrophe arising from the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. The destabilizing global economic conditions imposed on the rest of the world are unbearable. In Africa and elsewhere, the cost of living crisis and reducing inflation with food and emerging insecurity and devastating our economies and continue to frustrate pandemic recovery efforts. Additionally, the debt burden has reached crisis level. We call for general debt relief. We implore Russia and Ukraine to heed the global plea for political dialogue and end the war. Africa is simply asking for global peace and friendly relations. Our survival and progress depend on global peace and stability. Mr. President, the plea of the Rohingya remains a matter of grave concern to the Gambia. We call on the Myanmar government to comply with the ruling of the International Court of Justice and end all human rights violations against the Rohingya. The Gambia will continue to defend their rights, Mr. President. As a responsible member of the international community, Gambia considers Taiwan as part of the People's Republic of China, and we advocate, uh, we advocate the adoption of the One China policy. We urge the international community, therefore, to fully respect China's sovereignty over Taiwan and avoid actions that undermine global peace. The Gambia fully supports the Secretary General's call for transformation and global solidarity in the landmark, our common agenda. In the same vein, in the landmark report, our common agenda. In the same vein, we support his effort to convene the Summit of the Future and the Sustainable Development Goals Summit next year. The renewal of global solidarity and regard for the less fortunate necessitated that we commit ourselves once again to leaving no one behind. Mr. President, Africa will continue to demand its rightful place in the permanent membership category of the Security Council. Thus, the negotiations must produce tangible results. Finally, let me emphasize that genuine commitment and substantially increased resources should accompany the transformation of our institutions, systems, mechanisms, and state of preparedness, and the developing world must not be left behind. I pray that we have a successful 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly. I thank you. On behalf of the Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Republic of the Gambia for the statement just made and I request protocol to escort His Excellency. The for the first time in the history of the Gambia, Gambia Printing Publishing Corporation proudly introduces the Bibliomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. The machine has the capacity to print more than 20,000 books per hour. Yes, 20,000 books per hour. It also prints magazines, newspapers, calendars, flyers, normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices. With the Bilomatic printing machine, GPPC can now render high quality and non-size restricted printing service supply across the sub-region. Rush now and partner with GPPC for all your public and private printing service needs. Print with us today and you'd be offered highly professional, reliable and efficient service delivery by our team of experts.
The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours. Okay. Okay. Fifty-six branches more so the Gambia jam. Huh? Ha. Gambia kono anin Gambia bantala bangol. Unko kono kia bere. Hmm? Kono sifa sifa for falindi ro for nyadi lafta mem mem na kodi to poto nim kodi maro. Jam num number one di nyonda. And num fana nata another enterprise so dali. Wola wola nyindi ko domoro fana ngol fana be fira le le dadi ma anin domoro di fana beteat. Ha. Gambia dau da ya lo ngapu fa kendol so dali di. Ha. E wamo e ha. Ha, 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 ha,